Hi friends. Um, today we're going to work on our background. And if you've noticed, I have a, a new desk and it, yes, it is pink. Um, so I have a new desk that so we're going to be working on. I know it's kind of exciting. So I also have some new lighting. So hopefully you'll be able to see, um, the pictures better as I draw them. So today we're going to start with a black crayon and it's important to know that if you have a black crayon or a black colored pencil, it doesn't really matter so long as you follow the steps that I'm showing you. Okay, so first you're gonna start with a blank sheet of paper. Now, since this is a new desk and I don't want to draw um, on the edges of my desk, it's a good idea to get another piece of paper to put underneath because what we're going to be doing is drawing off the edge of our paper. So I'm just going to get this paper. I'm going to use it for scrap. Um, I might use it later for something else. Who knows? Might get inspired. And we're going to make our action background or active background. So what that does is we're going to show movement in the background by adding um, just some swirl shapes. They're very simple, nothing too fancy, just swirls. And we've done them before. And if you remember... Um, you know, the, we've done them for showing waves and things like that a couple years ago. So let's start with a big swirl that's going to go off the page. So I'm going to start with it right here. And if you remember how to make a swirl, it's kind of like drawing a circle, but we don't connect it. So I'm going to draw off my page and then stop there because I don't want it to be too big. Now, when I move my scrap paper, I've now created a swirl that appears to be going off of my page. I'm gonna go over here to the other side of my paper and I'm going to do another one. Again, we're just drawing a circle that never seems to connect. Now, I've ran into my other story here, so I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna pick up my crayon and I'm not touching my paper and I'm gonna draw where I think the rest of that swirl will come up and I stop there because I wanna put one more right here and then I'm going to do that oops I ran into that one so again I pick up my crayon and I continue drawing where I think my swirl would end now I'm gonna do one more line over here and then over here I'm gonna draw again making sure I have my scrap paper because I don't want to get my desk messy draw over here and then maybe maybe it butts into there now and it's okay if it doesn't um, work out perfectly you can kind of guesstimate where you're gonna go and if you make a mistake like I did there it's not a big deal so now I'm gonna take my scrap paper I'm gonna put it over here so I can use it for scrap later and now I have my background done um, so tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to work on the coloring portion of our background. So I don't want you to color this today. I want you to stop at this step and tomorrow we're going to spend a lot of time reviewing color and how it works for this painting. All right, guys, you have a fantastic day. Bye.